To me, tithing means obedience and blessings. Tithing is important because God requires us to tithe. And when we tithe, not only do we give God what he asks us to do, but it also helps to advance the kingdom of God. I haven't always been a tither. Um, I saw a tithe, got seriously about tithing really about 10 years ago. And that was during a period when I was sick. Um, I had this lung disease called sarcoidosis and um, had to have a lung transplant and a lot of stuff was going on medical wise and God just stepped in and he proved himself faithful to me. Um, he managed to pay all my bills for me, medical bills, prescription medication, everything was paid and it was so much, it was hard to believe that the expense that it all occurred. And when the bills started coming in, it was like everything was like zero balance, zero balance, zero balance. And I knew it had to be God because there was no way and nobody else could do that. So um, one day I remember I called Pastor Payton and Sandio because I wanted to show them, share this with them because it was so much. And so Pastor came over and he looked at it and he said, my God, this is crazy favor. Because the bills were so much and everything had zero balance on it. And at the time, I was not tithing and God was still proving himself to me. And during that time, my doctors had told me to go and apply for disability because I was not able to work anymore. So I did, and I promise you, it was like two months later, my disabilities started coming in. And you know, I've heard all these stories about people being turned down and having to reapply. I didn't have any problems like that. And I knew that there was God, he was proving himself to me. And I wasn't even tithing at the point. But after then was when I got serious about tithing. And my disability side coming in. So then I was paying tithe off of what I was getting. But I was like, God, I want to do more. I want to give more. And I, my heart was just so full. And so when he blessed me with a job, I was happy. I started tithing. And it was like overwhelming to me. And I started seeing how God was proving himself over and over again with that. And he said, if you just give me 10%, that's all I ask. Give me 10% and I'll open up the windows of heaven for you. I'll pull you out a blessing. Not only will it be great, but it will be so great that you won't have room enough to receive it. And if you do that, then I'm going to bless you. And when I started reading Malachi 3, I didn't realize it, but there's seven blessings in there that God had promised a tither. So when I started tithing, I could see the seven blessings coming front, coming forth, you know. And so I got serious about it and I got committed to God about tithing. So it's serious to me and I take God at his word and that's what he wants us to do, to take him at his word and try him. He said in Malachi, try me, put me to the test and I'll show you what I'll do for you. When, um, I was thinking about doing this and I prayed and asked God for a demonstration because I know we as people, we're visual people. So I said, God, what can I do to show your people what you mean when you say tithe and, and, 20, and give us you 10%? So he said, Rosie, my child, $20. 10% of $20 is $2. That's all he wants is two. In the meantime, he allows us to keep 18 dollars. See, this is what we keep, 18. And that's what he allows us to have. And he takes the two. You can't even buy a gallon of gas for two dollars. But that's all God asks for, is the two. You're being obedient and you're paying your tithe. When you don't be obedient and we steal from God, he said, you steal from me, you keep the whole 20 dollars. You're not giving him anything. And when you keep that whole 20, guess what? Your glass, your curse, this is it. Nothing in it. That's your curse, why you curse yourself. He said you curse yourself when you don't pay your tithe. But when you pay your tithe and you give him his $2 out of the 20, you got a glass here that's full, overflowing with water. The abundance that he said he will give you, it's just overflowing where you don't have room enough to receive it. That's his word right there. And he also said in Malachi 3, if I can read this, he said that God warns us that when we refuse to give our tithe to him and offering to him, we steal from him.
still. That's what it says in the Word. Also, he said up here, he said, You have cheated me of the tithe and offering to me. You owe this to me. And when you don't do that, you are under a curse. You owe it to me. You don't owe it to your pastor. You don't owe it to Sister Taylor. You don't owe it to Sister Terry. You owe it to me, God. That's who required it. So when you know, sometimes the devil sat on your shoulder and tell you, you barely got enough money for yourself. And you mean God wants you to give that lift that you got to the church? I don't think so. But God said, when you don't, you still in. And when you steal from me, you are cursed. So don't allow the enemy to sit on your shoulder and lie to you and make a fool out of you and keep you from your blessing from God because things happen because when we're obedient to God, God is faithful and just to us and he want to bless us. And when we give him what he asks for, he will overflow us in blessings. It's to your benefit to time.